So today we will try to generate a character using stable diffusion 1.5 and give them some expressions. For this purpose we will use a tool called mage.space. I had covered a video on using this tool before. The link is in the description. So we already have mage space opened. We will utilize the negative prompt field and the seed field. Let's open up notepad and see what prompts we will test. First up here is the negative prompt we are using. I have got this from a Geetha Repos Redmi page. I will give the link in the description for this also. Secondly we have a prefix here. We will append it to the beginning of every prompt. So back to the prompts, we have two sets of prompts for two characters and their expressions. Then we have the style which we will append at the end of every prompt. Let's go back to mage space and test them. First, enter the negative prompt in its field. The remaining settings I am leaving as default. It is up to you to adjust them for your own convenience. So let's enter our prompt for the first character. A man with brown hair and blue eyes. And here we go, at the prefix, prompt and style. A pretty good generation. Now the main thing to note is the seed. We need to copy and paste it. Then adjust our prompt with the first expression, smiling. And voila, we have got our smiling man. His hairstyle and beard is consistent which is great. So that is how the magic works. Let's try laughing next. And there we go. It looks quite realistic with the change in eye muscles and tongue visible as well. So it's the same seed with slight alterations to the prompt. Now let's try frowning. And there we go. You can see the vast difference in the eyes and bro muscles between expressions. That really sells the emotion. Now let's try a sad expression. It's pretty similar to the frowning one. So that's one thing to note. Similar expressions will get similar images. Next is a happy expression. It's somewhere between smiling and laughing. So note that you can get mixtures of expressions too. Anyhow we have completed the first character. Now we will clear the seed field. And move on to the next character. Now the second character. A woman with blonde hair and blue eyes. There we go, and we can see she has a blue dress as well. Now copy the seed, and paste it in the seed field. Adjust the prompt for the smiling expression. And there we go. The teeth were not visible before, and they have been generated now. Her head angle has changed as well to reflect her emotion. The hairstyle is consistent which is what we want. Now let's try laughing. Well she looks a bit like the Joker villain with those teeth. So you can expect that sometimes and tweak it with an adjective. Now trying frowning. Yep, it looks great with the tense eye muscles. And the teeth have vanished as well to reflect the expression. Now let's try sad. She's back to the original head angle. It's a slight adjustment from the neutral version. Now let's try happy. So the head angle has changed as well. And she looks more confident now with a slight smile. Now we have finished our testing. Let's see the results as a whole. The face details, 
hairstyle and characteristics are consistent throughout which is excellent. The change in expression is reflected in head angle, mouth and eyes especially. So that's how you can get various expressions on these characters. You can also put these original characters in unique situations by using the same seed. So I hope you understood the importance of seeds in stable diffusion and how they can help you make unique characters. So that's about it for now. Have a good day.